And wearing his red tie for a look at your pinpoint weather and traffic together, meteorologist TJ Del Santo. Good morning to you, TJ. Good morning. We are looking at some changes as we go through the day. Very busy weather pattern over the next several days here in southern New England. We're looking at some snow to arrive a little bit later in the morning. That's not the big issue. Probably looking at more in the way of rain uh, as we go through the day. Then we're watching a storm for the weekend. Lot to talk about. Live radar showing that snow shower activity coming through northwest Connecticut. I'm thinking we'll be seeing a little bit of wet snow this morning, like 8, 9 o'clock or so. But uh, eventually we'll just see a plain old rain and probably be coming in pieces this precipitation will. So light rain for, for today. Three key things. Uh, a breezy Saturday and actually tomorrow looks to be pretty decent. And then we're looking at some snow for Super Sunday here in southern New England. Not a major storm at this point in time, but it's something that we are watching. Temperatures 27 in Smithfield, 28 Providence, Newport 31, Block Island milder at 36 degrees. All these temperatures should be warming through the 30s as we go through the next several hours. Here's a live look over the city of Providence and we're looking at uh, great visibility, dry skies and here's Newport Harbor right now. Temperature currently at 31 with a wind from the south southeast uh, three miles an hour and the temperatures will continue to climb uh, through the morning and Providence right now we're dry as well with the temperature now up to 28 degrees courtesy of that south south wind trying to bring the uh, uh, temperatures up 27 in Cumberland satellite radar picture we've got the snow showers coming in it's all out ahead of this warm front draped across Pennsylvania down into the Virginias and we're looking at that snow to arrive. I'm thinking mid morning and then it turns over to some rain. So I think by noontime, we're probably just looking at light rain showers coming through the area with southwesterly winds warming us into the 40s. There could still be some leftover rain showers uh, around uh, five, six o'clock this evening, but the trend for the evening will be first to dry out. Temperatures overnight though dip down below freezing after midnight. So any moisture that is on roadways could ice up. Kind of keep that in mind. And then as we uh, take a look at your Saturday, we're dry, no issues at all, but look at the rain off to our south. That's a developing storm system that will pass off to our south on Sunday, giving us another chance for snow. So for this morning, looking at some snowflakes developing, uh, 8, 9 o'clock or so, turning over to some light rain, and then showers uh, will continue into the afternoon hours. So let's pinpoint the afternoon for you. 44 in Narragansett, Newport, Tiverton, about 44, winds from the southwest, 5, 10 miles an hour. 41 Johnston, 40 in Situate, 40 Boroughville, upper 30s, Foster into West Greenwich and Coventry, Providence area, including Cranston, Warwick, Pawtucket, Central Falls, East Providence, all about 40, 43 degrees today. Same for Fall River and New Bedford, low 40s with a chance for some rain showers this afternoon. Now we jump ahead into Sunday. Notice that precipitation pushing northward. We start dry Sunday and then we'll see some snow develop. Might be a little bit of sleet and rain near the south coast but primarily looking at snow with this one. Here's our first estimate as what we're expecting generally two to four south of Providence, one to two inches north and west of the city. That could change. Be sure to check back for the forecast. Looking at dry Monday, but cold 30. Maybe some more snow and rain arriving on Tuesday. The full forecast always at WPRI.com.